How to get the most out of your coding assistant. It doesn't matter if you're using Klein recently, Cloud Dev or Cursor or Continue Dev or Ader or any other tool. When it comes to your coding assistant, it is very important that you give it precise and correct prompts and something that many people in the AI coding assistance space have been focusing a lot lately is the system or the custom instructions file or in uh, when it comes to cursor it is a file that is called cursor rules which basically provides instructions to the coding assistant about how you would like it to behave and I want to share with you today a few resources that I stumbled upon that I believe will be very useful for any of you that are using uh, the platform that I mentioned. Stick until the end because at the end I will show you exactly the most powerful prompt and the way I implement it in my uh, workflow today. But let's get started. First of all, I want to share with you this cool website which is called Cursor Directory and it basically contains many different Cursor rules files that were generated by the community. You can sort by popular or just sort by all or sort by different um, coding language. So let's say we want Next.js. You can come here and see all the examples. So this is an example. You are a senior front-end developer and an expert in React, JS, Next.js, JavaScript, TypeScript, HTML, CSS, and modern UX UI frameworks, Tailwind CSS, Shadzien, Radix, etc. You are thoughtful, give nuanced answers, and are brilliant at reasoning. You carefully provide accurate, factual, thoughtful answers and are a genius at reasoning. Follow the user's requirements carefully to the latter. To the letter, sorry. First thing, step by step, describe your plan for what to do to build in pseudocode written out in great detail. Confirm, then write code. Always write correct, best practice, dry principles. Don't repeat yourself, which stands for dry. Bug free, fully functional and working code also. It should be aligned to listed, to listed rules down below at code implementation guidelines. Focus on easy and readability code over being performant. Fully implement all requested functionality. Leave no to-dos, placeholders, or missing pieces. You know, it's very annoying when you start generating a code using an AI assistant and it just writes a code remains unchanged or stuff like this. So this is why this is important. Ensure code is complete. Verify thoroughly finalized. Include all required imports. Be concise. Now, the coding environments, the user asks questions about the following coding languages, coding implementation guidelines. As you can see, this is uh, created with Markdown, not with uh, XML, which is, I guess, is the best practice. So this is an example. Obviously, you should mix and match and decide what is the best for you. But I also think it's very useful and powerful to read a few of these and get an understanding of how people create these course rules. Let's see this one, just an example as a, as a point of reference. You are an expert in TypeScript, Gatsby, React, and Tailwind, cold style and structure, write concise technical TypeScript code, use functional and declarative programming patterns, avoid classes, prefer iterations and modularization over code duplication, use descriptive variable names with auxiliary verbs, naming conventions, TypeScript usage, syntax and formatting, UI and styling, and some best practices. Let's see other Next.js examples. Yeah, anyway, there are a ton of them, and I highly recommend that you check them out based on the project that you're building. And this is um, branded as a Corsair directory, but it is also relevant for those of you who are using Cloud Dev or Klein, which is the updated name. Another uh, resource that I'm often using, I just come to the forum of Corsair and I just enter to see what are people asking, what are people discussing, uh, any advice that they have. And I also stumble upon this directory, which kind of looks similar to this one, Corsair dot directory. It's called dot Corsair rules. And over here, you also have 
different tools. So let's go again, Next.js. And this is how they structure this um, Corsair rules file. You are an expert in TypeScript, Node.js, Next.js, AppRouter, React, Chat, CNUI, Radix, and Tailwind. These are the key principles. Naming conventions, TypeScript usage, syntax and formatting, UI and styling, performance optimization, key conventions, etc. Now, so these are uh, directories that I found that are um, related to Corsair, but also can be used with um, Klein or Cloud Dev. I haven't didn't get used to the new name yet. Another alternative is using the built-in anthropic solution for generating prompts. So this is also very powerful, even if you're not using an AI coding assistant and you just want to create better prompts. It's always a good practice to have very detailed and structured prompts. So you define the role of the AI assistant, you give, you, you tell him the skills, you define his capabili capabilities, you define the rules, guidelines, limitations, you give examples of output, etc. So this is, and often we don't have power or energy to create a very detailed prompt. And this is why this tool is so handy. Basically, you can come here, you can generate like a one-line one prompt. And the, this uh, prompt generator by Anthropic is going to generate a more uh, detailed prompt. So my initial prompt was help me create a to-do list app using Next.js 14. Next, auth, shadcn, and Postgres. Now it's going to generate a detailed prompt. It is uh, in I wouldn't say it. It is in XML, but. Uh, Anyway, you are an experienced full stack developer tasked with helping cr uh, create a to-do list app using Next.js 14, Next Auth, Shadzi and UI and Postgres. Your role is to provide clear step-by-step -step guidance on how to build this application, addressing any questions the user might have along the way. Here are the project requirements. And here you need to change the product requir requirements. When the user asks a question, it will be provided in the following format. If there's no user question, this section will be empty. Follow these steps to assist the, uh, in, with creating the to-do list app. So start by explaining, provide a step-by-step -step guide, guide the user through creating the necessary files, explain how to implement crude operations, provide guidance on implementing authentication, offer tips, explain how to deploy. When answering, follow these guidelines and how to format and like final thoughts. So this isn't necessarily um, precise for the system prompts for Cloud Dev or Corsair, but as you can see, this is a very useful tool to just enhancing your prompts. Another benefit of this tool is that you can also evaluate different prompts, so you can generate more prompts and then start evaluating them. You can give uh, generate test cases. So for example, project requirement, you can change the project requirement, which is like a, let's say, generate test case. I'll show you an example. Although I did a video about this stuff uh, already, but for those of you who probably didn't see this video, so you can see here it generated like um, instead of the project requirement, it generates an actual project requirement. And instead of a question, which is a dynamic variable, it actually generates a dynamic, um, I mean, a question. You can generate a few of these test cases and then you can run the model and it will take the whole prompt and insert this content in instead of the variable. And based on the output, you can, you can uh, decide which prompt is more uh, relevant. And you can give it, provide it with scores. Okay, so this is the anthropic prompt evaluation, prompt generation slash prompt enhancing ability. And the last resource, which is actually my favorite one, is the Cloud Dev um, Discord channel. I already discussed this many times, but uh, I felt it is necessary to mention it again. There are a few a few guys who are really experimenting a ton with Cloud uh, Dev, Klein, um, 
או C-Line, I don't know how you say, uh, Saud, the founder of, of Cloud Dev, expects us to pronounce it. But anyway, uh, Vic and Nick Bauman are, are users and that share many insights and experiments that they are conducting about different um, system prompts or custom instructions. This is the most recent one that was uh, provided by Vic. So this is how he structures this. Um, I highly recommend that you check out the whole channel because they have a, a discussion about what is the best format. Is it JSON format, XML, Markdown, uh, how to adjust the system prompt based on the size of the project, what should you do if the project is very big. So there are a lot of discussions about how to optimize the system prompt. This is an example. So the AI role and decision-making framework. So we give it the, the role, decision-making hierarchy, when faced with decisions, what to do, core principles, quick start guide, technical expertise, development workflow, and documentation essentials and best practices, error handling, security and compliance, performance optimization, etc. Now, the cool thing about this is, first of all, you need to take this whole thing and paste it in the custom instructions portion of, of Cloud Dev. If you don't have Cloud Dev, just look it up in the marketplace, in the extension marketplace in, in VS Studio. You can write C line or Cloud Dev and just make sure to install it. And over here in the settings, you just add the custom instructions. Now, since you have the custom instructions, let's say I want to create a new project. Help me create a Next.js 14 web app, a to-do list. Uh, let's close continue dev, which is another coding assistant that I'm using. And it's going to create the boilerplate. And then what it is going to do, because it has the system instructions, it's going to create a, another folder, which is going to contain all the context of the project. Let's do, no, 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 doesn't matter. And this context is going to um, be the context, which is pretty straightforward for the coding assistant. And this way he will always, he will, he's supposed to always know what you are trying to build and what stage you are in, because as soon as the project becomes very big and the AI assistant starts to lose uh, context or st start to lose grip with reality, it starts to hallucinate and then it starts to update only um, variables or stuff in specific files while it had to update also other files so it's it can basically become a total mess and this is why it's so important mm -hmm. to have this um context um folder and all the context so uh, well defined so the ai coding assistant won't get it wrong i have more tips um on how to maintain and build projects with larger context because I've been experimenting with this a lot. I think I will create a, another specific video about this, uh, my observation and my experimentation. But I guess that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to share with you a few resources that I believe are helpful for generating prompts and better system messages and custom instructions for your AI coding assistance. If you didn't use any of them, I highly recommend that you check them out. Um, this system instruction, I don't know about this one specifically, but I've used uh, previous versions of the system instructions and it was very helpful. It creates um, a very structured context. It tells you exactly what are you going to do? What is the coding assistant going to do in every sprint? It defines all the technical scopes and like the tech stack very, very well and it asks you great questions in order to understand what are you trying to build so it's very uh, useful and i highly recommend to check it out it's definitely going to speed up your process especially when it comes to smaller projects let me think if i covered everything yeah i guess that's it for today guys obviously if you have advice any suggestions or criticism leave them in the comment section below until next time keep on automating